Hello, this is Beastly Eel with another Eel Talk. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the newest episode of The Bad Batch, episode five, Rampage. Um, so the episode starts with them giving, so The Bad Batch, giving um, Omega a communicator. So that way she can be in touch with everything that's going on. And she has very specific orders that it is not a toy and that they, she is to only use it in an emergency situation. So they, Echo is the one who's deciding where they're going next and they're looking for an informant um, by the name of Sid that the Jedi used a lot. Sid is not somebody I remember in any of the Star Wars shows and movies. Um, that being said, that doesn't mean anything. Um, it still could be an informant. I mean, they've had so many and been around for so long. Who knows? So they set a course to look for Sid. And the reason why they're looking for Sid is to get information on the bounty hunter that is after them. So they land, um, Omega is ordered to stay with them, and they go hunting for Sid. So they get inside a building that they are pretty sure Sid's in. And they ask Echo, well, what does Sid look like? And Echo's like, I don't know, I've never met him. I've only heard stories. I've never actually met the, the creature, the person. And they're all surprised and trying to figure it out. So I talk to this green creature, woman? maybe, I don't know, um, and ask, you know, where Sid is, and the bird looks him up and down and goes, no, Sid's not here, and this is where we get to see Omega's power a little bit, or enhancement, um, because she stays with the green creature, and it's like, as they, the rest of them are talking, trying to figure out where's the next place they're going to go to look for an informant, and Omega's staring at the person and finally goes what are you looking at you're Sid aren't you and doesn't deny it and goes you're definitely more observant than the rest of your crew so Omega uses the comm link to explain to the Bad Batch that she's found Sid so they go in the back and they discuss what they need to discuss specifically who's after them so they show her information on the person after them and Sid very clearly goes I don't know who it is but it's clearly a bounty hunter I know one when I see one um, and they ask you know can you get that information and she's Sid's like well, yeah it's gonna cost you though um, so they told him they don't have much money. And like, no, I have a mission for you. You got to save a kid from slave pirates. Slave pirates? Decided to coin that phrase now. Since I can't think of their actual name. But anyway. Um, so anyway, I lost my train of thought for a second. I apologize. So they decide that they're going to do it. And they have no choice. So they, they basically talk about, you know, the bounty and how they're only going to get 30% of the bounty. And Sid's going to get the information that they need on the bounty hunter that is after them. So they take off and go looking for the child. So they land and they do surveillance to kind of see what's going on. And they see only one child there. And so they put, they are putting two and two together that that's, the one they're looking for. Omega gets ordered to go back to the ship because they don't want her in the line of fire. So the the other four go to try to get closer look and sneak the kid out and get the heck out of there. Well, the problem is Echo gets attacked by a creature, a flying dragon-like creature, um, and they get spotted and they all get captured. So the four of them are now in the prison camp. 
with electric collars on. Omega is in the ship talking to the robot. Um, and as this is going on, the prison camp guards um, find the Bad Batch's ship. So Omega um, sneaks out of the, the ship so that way she doesn't get captured. And she goes back to the camp. So the prison guards think that there's nobody else in the ship and they take off. Omega gets to the camp. Um, the Bad Batch notices. And they hint, you know, kind of wink, wink, um, that they would be able to do a lot more damage to the guards if they were given their equipment. So Omega finds the equipment and goes after it. Unfortunately, slips and falls and makes a loud noise. So the guards go after her. She outsmarts them and removes a lock from one of their cages. It seems to be a very monstrous creature. And it breaks out. And it is known as a... Oh my gosh. It's the creature from um, the original Star Wars series that Luke gets put into. A Rancor. Sorry, I had to look it up. Um, so, a Rancor. And it starts attacking all the guards. They're trying to stop it and kind of like, I don't want to say beat it down, but really trying to put it out. The Bad Batch escapes, or I shouldn't say escapes, they break out of their restraints. Um, and they start letting everybody else out. So they go to grab the kid and call it by the name that they were told that they had to look for. And the parent of the kid's like, mm, that's the one. And it's the Rancor. So the Rancor is the actual bounty that they're supposed to get. So now they have to try to get it. Well, between the Bad Batch and the Rancor, they take out all the slave guards. Um, prison camp slave guards. So it is Hunter and, well, pretty much actually Tech, Hunter, and Wrecker. Uh, Hunter attacks like the prison head guard, um, and the other two go after the Rancor, while Echo and Omega help the prisoners escape. So after all the prisoners are, have escaped, um, and all the guards are taken out. It's just the Rancor now. And Tech explains to Wrecker that it needs to be, you know, it goes after the Alpha. It needs to be taken out by an Alpha. And Wrecker goes, I'm in. And the two of them start fighting. And apparently it's a long fight because Hunter and the rest of the Bad Badge show up. And the Rancor and Wrecker are definitely extremely tired now. The two of them fighting each other for so long knocked them out. And Wrecker technically wins the fight. So they bring the creature with them and they go back to Sid. What we find out is Sid Bounty is actually put on by none other than Jabba the Hutt, Jabba the Hutt, and he wants his rancor, and he's very impatient about it. So the main guy that Jabba has, I can't even think of his name, um, goes to visit Sid and demanding that, you know, where's the rancor, where's the rancor? And that's right when the Bad Batch shows up with the rancor. And they deliver it to them. He takes it and leaves. He gives, obviously, the credits. So they leave and they go back inside with Sid to talk with Sid to see, to find out what, you know, Sid found out. So Sid explains that it's a bounty hunter that's ri risen from the ranks pretty quickly. And that clearly somebody really wants them because they're a high value target. But they, no matter what she, what information she had, she could not find out who actually put out the bounty. 
and she explained to them that they're going to need a lot of money to avoid this person. And Hunter's like, we don't really have any money. And she explains that she has some jobs for them, and he would consider it. And then she kind of threatens him by stating, you know, since you guys are such high-value targets, you clearly have a big bounty on your heads. And Hunter gets the point right away, and she goes, well, don't worry, I guess I can keep a secret. And that's how the episode ends. Now, one thing I didn't mention during my talk is that Wrecker has been really touching his head lately. He's been in a lot of pain, um, which makes me wonder, is his chip starting to work? Um, I'm hoping not. I'm really, really hoping not, because I really like Wrecker. But it's a possibility. It's a possibility that um, Wrecker is going to turn very similar to Crosshairs at some point, um, which will be very disappointing. I also still think um, the Bounty Hunter is definitely going to come back after them. I still think it's only after Omega, but she's only after Omega. Um, I think it's the clone creators that are putting the bounty up. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see Crosshairs again. There's no way they're not going to show Crosshairs again in some sort of capacity, even if it's just up against the Bad Batch. So, as for Sid, though, I think Sid's going to kind of blackmail him into working for her. And they're going to become mercenaries. That's going to be my guess right now. It's pretty much it um, for that episode. For right now, you know, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Otherwise, have a good night. This is BC Eel signing out.